Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today I'm doing a book review on Mother May I by Jocelyn Jackson. So I'm giving this book 3.8 stars. So I have to say, I'm not really a fan of Jocelyn Jackson's books. Uh, and I've read her in the past and mm, her books are just okay for me. Um, this one kept my attention. It was okay. Um, and the only reason I picked it up because I got it for free. Yay. From my library. And it's been all over BookTube and Instagram. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. Like I said, 3.8 stars. It was okay. Um, it did keep my attention long enough that I want, you know, I wanted to finish it. Um, and so let's read a synopsis and then we're going to talk about it. So it's Brie Cabot is our main character. It says revenge doesn't wait for permission. Growing up poor in rural Georgia, Brie Cabot was warned by her single mother that the world was a dark and scary place. Brie rejected her mother's fearful outlook and life has proved her right. Having married into a family with wealth, power, and connections, Brie now has all a woman could ever dream of. A loving lawyer husband, two talented teenage daughters, a new baby boy, a gorgeous home, and every opportunity in the world. Until the day she awakens and sees a witch peering into her bedroom window. An old gray-haired woman dressed all in black who vanishes as quickly as she appears. It must be a play of the early morning light or the remnant of a waking dream, Bree tells herself, shaking off the bad feeling that overcomes her. Later that day, though, she spies the same old woman again in the parking lot of her daughter's private school. Just minutes before Bree's infant son, asleep in his car seat only a few feet away, vanishes. It happened so quickly, Bree looked away only for a second. There is a note, though, left in his place, warning her that she is being watched. If she wants her baby back, she must not call the police or deviate in any way from the instructions that will follow. The mysterious woman makes contact and Bree learns she, too, is a mother. Why would another mother do this? What does she want? And why has she targeted Bree? Of course, Bree will pay anything, do anything, to get her child back. To get her baby back, Bree must complete one small but critical task. It seems harmless enough, but her action comes with a devastating price, making her complicit in a tangled web, web of tragedy and shocking secrets that can destroy everything she loves. It's the beginning of an odyssey that will lead Bree to dangerous places, explosive confrontations, and chilling truths. Bree will do whatever it takes to protect her family, but what if the cost tears their world apart? Hmm. It kind of reminds me of um, the book I just read. What was it called? I can't remember what it was called, but it had the um, mom in it where her, uh, the chain, um, where the mom, uh, child got kidnapped and then she had to kidnap one in place of hers and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it kind of reminds me of that, but the chain was way, way, way better. Um, but this book was, it was still good. 3.8 stars. Um, I found myself skipping chunks <laughs> because I feel like it had too much filler in it. Um, I felt like it could have been a shorter story, um, and it, it had too much filler for me, but it was still good. Um, Brie has a, a best friend who, um, she tells, she's not supposed to tell anybody. The, the old lady that takes her baby says, don't tell the police, don't tell your husband, don't tell anybody. But she does end up telling her best friend, who's a, who's a guy, and he does help her, um, complete the tasks that she has to complete to get her baby back. And yeah, one of the first things she has to do is she has to slip um, roofies to uh, a lawyer. She goes to the a fancy party that her, is her husband's firm and the lawyer actually works with her husband. 
And the first task is she has to slip roofies to this lawyer, which she does. And there's devastating circum there's devastating results, and from there it just continues to be explosive. <laughs> But, like I said, 3.8 stars. It was okay. Um, what'd you think of this book? Did you read it? What'd you think? I need to talk about it. Come on. Tell me in the comment section below if you read it and what you thought about it. I would have gave it more stars, I think, if it wasn't so um, fluffed out with um, filler. I, that, you know what I mean? Like, it had too much filler. Like, it couldn't... I don't know. Parts of it was boring to me. So, I was skipping over like paragraphs and then it would just pick back up to where like as if I didn't so that tells me I, it had too much filler <laughs> at least that's my thoughts I don't know um but yeah like I said I'm not normally a Jocelyn Jackson fan I have read some of her other books and didn't really care for them so um that might be um coloring my my um review a little bit but it was still good I mean, if you like her, you would probably like it. Um, but for me, it was just okay. 3.8 stars. Yep. All right, guys. That's all I got. Oh, I want to show you my new haircut. Okay, so, you know, I've been keeping it short. And every time I go, I get a different haircut, basically. But you can see right here, I've cut really short right there. And it's really, really short in the back. And it's short here. But I'm kind of liking it. I don't know next time if I'll do this. I'm not really liking that part. But when my hair is down, you can't really see it. And really, I was trying to get a um, longer time in between haircuts. Because my hair grows so fast. Uh, <laughs> every time I think I might grow it out, I don't. I decide to go get it cut again. Um, and my, my regular lady moved. So now I'm going to a different one who I used to go to when I had longer hair. And, um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> but she did pretty good. I showed her a video of what I wanted, and she did pretty good. I mean, I'm kind of liking it. Um, but when she fixed it, it was like this. And you could really see that part. And, no. Didn't like that. So, I was kind of glad that this part was left. This is my natural part right here. And so, with it naturally parted, you really can't see that as much. Um, but yeah. I think it's cute. I'll show you the back, but I don't think you could see the back. It's really cute. <laughs> but that's it. That's all I got, guys. If you like this video, how about a like while you're here? How about a subscribe? Don't forget to check back for more book videos coming up soon. Thanks, friends. I'll see you next time.